yeah, it's very common that, um, you know, if you're going to go to the bank and raise some capital to put into a business, either to expand it or to make acquisitions, most lenders will ask you for either putting equity into the deal, um, so you're investing your own cash, so you've got some skin in the game, or at the very least, they're going to ask for a personal guarantee. And I guess the reason for that is that the lender wants to, you know, protect their risk. You know, most SMEs, typically 95% of startups fail in the first five years, only 1% make it to a million. So the chances of success are actually quite slim, but even if you get there, it's still a very risky sector um, for banks to lend in. You know, most banks tend to play in the bigger corporate businesses where the, perhaps the, the level of risk is a lot less. So one way for them to protect the risk lending to a small or medium business is to ask the directors to sign a personal guarantee. So in the event that you default, you don't pay them back, they can call upon you. Um, or if you've got equity in the deal, then you're, you've got something to lose effectively, you've got skin in the game if you default or things, things don't work out. From our point of view, we don't sign personal guarantees. And the fundamental reason for that is that um, we use a, an SPV when we um, buy a business, special purpose vehicle. That is a limited liability company in the jurisdiction that we do the deal. Um, and the whole reason of using a limited liability company is that it limits your liability as a business owner to the amount that you've actually put into the deal. So it's limited to the shareholder value. If you sign a personal guarantee, then effectively you're piercing that corporate veil because you can forget all of that limited liability because they can then come after you for um, you know, your personal assets to, to recoup. So it's all about, for me, justifying it to the lenders, making sure you've got a robust business plan, and most importantly, you've got really great, credible, experienced people that have done this many times before so that you know, it becomes less of a risk from a lender's point of view. So no, we don't sign personal guarantees, um, and it's really important that we present ourselves to the bank in that way at the outset.